What's up guys? I'm going to show you guys how to install copper strips on your DIY battery. So first thing you guys are going to need, you're going to need some copper strips. These are 21700 cells. Uh, you're going to need some solder. I, I'm using 6040 split resin uh, rosin solder and I have no problems with it. You can use 67 uh, or 6337 uh, solder works just as fine. I just found that 6040 comes in bigger size. It's a little bit easier to work with on these big packs. So there's a couple ways to do this. You know what I'm saying? I know this looks kind of fast and I got like, a lot of things going on here. All right. So right now that stick that you see, it's just like a stick and it's just it, helping me like uh, push down on the copper strips on the uh, solder while I'm soldering it because the copper strip heats up really well while the nickel strip doesn't. So what I'm saying about putting there's two ways to do this you can either uh pre-tin the nickel strip that you already spot weld and stuff like that so you'd pre-tin that and just make sure it like, lines up with the uh the holes in the copper strip and as you guys can see I, this is like fast motion so like i'm going through this kind of fast and i might even be talking fast so if you guys have any questions or comments please let me know and the second way is you just you just hold that um, soldering iron on directly on top of the uh, the nickel strip, and it's really like not that hard at all. You just hold it right on top, and you guys can see me. I'm putting the stick on too, just to like keep it really like pressed down so the solder can uh, sit and rest, so it doesn't move anywhere. Because you don't want these strips coming off. You want each individual um, little hole filled in, and you don't really want them touching like your uh, positives or your negatives like directly your individual cells you want them in between the cells that's something a lot of people don't talk about and you'll find out when you do try to put it directly on like a a positive or a negative sometimes it doesn't adhere well and it's like it and like i feel like it's damaging the battery which it really is because if it gets too hot and it's not sticking and you keep going back and back it will damage the battery and then you might have a bad cell we don't want to have that so i want to teach you guys how to do this pretty easily and simply so getting back to it uh oh yeah yeah getting back to it yeah so you just put the put your soldering iron directly on it and just hold on hold it there put push the solder in and it'll start melting and you just put the stick on it doesn't even have to be a stick maybe like a silicone mallet silicone anything just you just don't want it to be a like conductive you don't want it to spark shock yourself it's big bad bad dude. you don't want to waste your money like on a blown up battery so at this part, I'm actually cutting. This is this is for the main positive and main negative. As you guys can see, I'm just cutting like one piece right down the middle. So because I'm not gonna need a whole two p piece, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like just like that. You guys can see, like you just line it up. On this, I'm not doing it. How I'm not having like the solder laid out. I'm actually just soldering right down. And for me, I found it a little easier when I like got the middle and like I might have been able to go either up or down depending on which way like the nickel strip is facing because sometimes it doesn't sit perfectly sometimes your nickel your spot welds don't help you out the greatest as they should but you guys really want to know you guys really need to fill every single hole and do not leave anything unattended try your best to make sure everything sticks well i actually did not put the copper strip all the way to the end uh just because I don't know, I thought it looked a little nicer that way and some of these things are a little sharp and I don't really like dealing with that stuff just because I'm always cutting my hands up with this stuff. So it's, it's I just want to make sure, I just want to show you guys that this is very easily, it's very easy. Oh, I messed up right there, like a little spark happened because I like lost a little bit of, lost it there. But you guys see like I'm not perfect, but obviously if you do short circuit, it's not, the end of the world just make sure to take it off in like five seconds because anything past like five ten seconds you, you're asking for trouble like fire your smoke is happening fire is sure thing to happen next but as you guys see it's not a hard process at all you just stick it on there boo -doo -doo, boo -doo -doo. just hold it on there and like this might be in fast motion so if you guys hold it for like seven eight seconds that's probably like the more realistic answer here but i actually have two 36 volts packs that I'm putting together as to be a 72 volt. I actually ran out of nickel strip and copper strip. So I had to order some more from AliExpress. So you know I had to wait like three weeks for this stuff. So I'll let you guys know when the whole battery is done because it's going actually in an electric dirt bike. 
Make sure you guys subscribe, like, and comment. Everything helps out so much, guys. And I'm happy that you guys have stuck around this far. If you have, if you haven't, whatever, whatever. I just want to explain that one more time. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, and comment. I, I'm going to say this one more time. It's your boy, Mikey Will. Subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you, guys. More, more content coming soon.